Praise be Jesus Christ. What a, what a magnificent gathering today. I, Cardinal, uh, Cardinal Egan is here, my brother bishops, so many priests, uh, deacons and seminarians, religious sisters and brothers. We've got representatives I know from our Catholic Charities, uh, our wonderful Catholic Charities people who were uh, meeting yesterday and are providentially with us. We've got wonderfully committed um, political uh, uh, leaders and elected officials and, and, and those responsible for, our, for the society and the state uh, and the community that we love. Um, and we've got so many who have come from all across this state of New York representing our Catholic family here putting faith in action, here being lights to the world so that we can be better equipped to bring the light of Jesus and his gospel and the church to a society, to a state, to a country that we deeply love. Can I just call your attention to, um, to one line from our first reading in this morning's Liturgy of the Word? Uh, here it is. It comes from the book of the prophet Daniel, remember? Here it is. We follow you unreservedly. We follow you with our whole heart. It was actually, if you recall from our first reading, was a profession of faith from Azariah in the book of Daniel. Listen one more time. Azariah speaking to the Lord. We follow you unreservedly. We follow you with our whole heart. I don't know if you can remember the, um, the motto, the saying of Pope John Paul II that he had on his coat of arms when he was made a bishop, and he kept it when he was named Bishop of Rome, our Holy Father, the Pope. Totus tuus, the Latin meaning all yours, all yours. You see, John Paul II knew what Azariah was saying in this morning's reading from the Bible, from God's holy word. John Paul II knew, as Azariah knew, as we know, or we wouldn't be here today, that nothing in my life, nothing in human life, is excluded from the light of God's love, grace, mercy, and salvation. No corner of my life no corner of God's creation is exempt from God's dominion. We hold nothing back when it comes to our service to him and his people. God's light reaches every creature. God's light and truth reaches all of creation. You and I, my brothers and sisters, faithful to that profession of faith from Azariah, that we serve God unreservedly, that we serve God with our whole heart. We hold nothing back. You and I are concerned about everybody and everything. From Port Jervis to Port a Prince in Haiti, from Brooklyn to Baghdad, from Saratoga to Sing Sing, from Staten Island to Ellis Island and our wonderful immigrants. God's people, his church are there because we are unreserved in our allegiance to him. See? Now that teaching, that teaching of Azariah in this morning's first reading is magnified and exalted and infinitely multiplied in the miracle of of what we call the incarnation. The incarnation that the second person of the most blessed trinity, God the Son, the eternal word, took flesh and became one of us. That was God the Father's way, everybody, of baptizing the entire world. That was God's way of making humanity holy. And our solicitude, our active concern for God's creatures and his creation became, in the wonder of the incarnation, all-embracing. All-embracing. You see what it taught us when God became man? 
the Son of God was conceived in the womb of a woman and carried for nine months in her womb. So any baby in the womb is sacred to us. God's mother had a troubled pregnancy. So women with troubled pregnancies are of deep concern to us. The Son of God was born in a cave. So those without homes are of deep concern to us. The Son of God was exposed to a tyrant named Herod. So those suffering oppression are of deep concern to us. The Son of God had to flee as a refugee to Egypt, so those who have to leave their country as immigrants and refugees are embraced by our love. God's Son worked in a carpenter shop, so working men and women have an innate dignity because they share the very vocation of Jesus Christ himself. God's Son grew up in a human family, so marriage and family is at the essence of our concern. Jesus was hungry in the desert, so those who hunger have a right to claim the solicitude and love of his church. Our Lord cried over the death of his friend Lazarus, so those who are sorrowful and those who are mourning have a claim on our charity. Our Lord extolled the fruit of the tree and the grain of the field, so our farmers deserve our love and respect. Jesus exuded a care for those mentally disabled and those who are physically sick. So too should the people who, cl who claim to be identified to him and his church, so too should we have an active concern for those mentally challenged and those who are sick. God's Son, the incarnate word, calmed the storms and the seas. So do we have an active concern wherever creation is threatened or in turbulence. The only begotten Son of God was arrested and imprisoned, so those in jail are not excluded from his love. God's Son was unjustly accused, so those suffering from injustice have a right to our advocacy. And God's only begotten Son suffered capital punishment, so it's no surprise that we're opposed to that as well. Do you see what we're saying? The Second Vatican Council said it well, everybody. No human need is alien to the church's concern because our allegiance to God is unreserved. Our allegiance to God is wholehearted, as Azariah professes in this afternoon's first reading. So get ready, because when those who say, you people of faith, you people of religion, you people of the church should mind your own business and stay out of politics, we say politics happens to be our business, all right? <clears throat> when people say religion and church and, and faith is only intended for Sunday morning, we say no. The reason Sunday morning is so important is that we can be faith, men, people, men and women of faith from Monday through Saturday. And when people tell us that religion, morality, ethics, and faith do not mix with politics, we say, uh-uh. They go together as naturally as a hot dog and a bun, okay? <laughs> because as, <coughs> as Azariah said, we follow you unreservedly. We follow you with our whole heart. Or as Pope John Paul the Great said, totus to us. We are all yours, all creation and all creatures.